Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me, Joe, and today we are playing Fallout again. I said I was going to do some more base building, and I did the Red Rocket one on... Why can't the Institute just leave us alone? Why can't you stop interrupting me when I make videos, man? Yeah, I'm actually live streaming this now on Twitch, so if you're one of the eight amazing people... Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. I don't have a gun, mate. I have a baseball bat. See? You like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually live streaming this on Twitch now to eight amazing people. And they're probably the eight people that are going to watch this. So I doubt this video is actually going to get many views. But I built this base sanctuary. Like, I did a base build in sanctuary on my playthrough. And I've decided to redo it on my other my new playthrough that I'm doing with this character. I wish I knew what the Institute really wanted up here. <laughs> I swear, man. Um, yeah, you would have seen Red Rocket in the last video. And this should come out on Christmas Day. I want to try and get this done and rendered and stuff by Christmas Day, which should be quite easy to do. And yeah, it's going to be another base tour. So, we're going to go inside. I've started it at night time because it, it looks really cool. Um, we've got all the power outside. You can see there's a lot of lights, so we need a lot of power. Um, I've got some defences. We've got our fortress here. Preston's opened the gate for us, which is kind of okay. Um, we've got a little watch out point, some defences. You know, turrets. I should have really put some turrets down. I didn't really think of that. But it's fine. I've not been attacked yet. So yeah, this is the front entrance, and you come in. And you see the back entrance there. It's just four buildings. I've just kept it nice and simple. Um, I don't know where to go first. Where should we go first? Let's have a look at the walkways first. So this is the fortress bit. It's concrete all the way around, which you would have seen at the start by the flybys. Um, we've got a little watch out point here. We can look down, shoot people. Well, I'll have to throw my baseball bat at them, but that's fine. Um, you can see the amount of lights I've already got. It's ridiculous. They go all the way around the base. There's so many lights. I'm actually lagging, so I apologise if there's frame drops in this video. But there's so much stuff on this map, it's just, it's just, it's just lagging. Um, but yeah, we can walk around the base, it's got some stairs here. It goes all the way around to the other entrance, which is pretty much identical, except it's a bit of an angle, so it looks a bit ugly, but it's fine. And there's no cross, you can't cross over. Um, we jump down, you can just basically see it's exactly the same. And again, just go around. You have to jump over these bushes here because I couldn't connect these up because this bush was in the way. A tree wasn't there before. Okay. Oh, well, I've never noticed it because it's invisible half the time. Weird. Yeah, so essentially it's just a walkway. I think you know what a walkway looks like. But it took a long time to build. Putting every single light down. You see the power goes all the way around it on these little power pylons. Um, and yeah, it's back to the square one. I think that's my one only defence I've got. <laughs> okay, well that's that's the fort that goes around the entire base. I think it's pretty good. Um, we've got this building here, which is where all of my stuff is. I put You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you. Go away. Yeah, so this is the uh one of the buildings. Um, I did a lot of effort into it in my playthrough. It was quite well refurbished, I just should say. Um, it's not oh, whatever. <laughs> Can leave it to it. But yeah, I've done the um, the garage bit again. I've got my power armor, which I brought over from Red Rocket, which you would have seen in the previous video. And if you go in here, this guy's just hammering a wall for no reason. I haven't filled it out as much. Like I said, I haven't put stuff on tables. I haven't really bothered with that because there's so much like stuff to put out. I kept the kitchen in here because like why not? Got some chairs. This is sort of my junk that I got rid of because I was over encumbered. Um, I've got cats everywhere as well, by the way. Um, just a little bedroom. Another little bedroom. Put some flags up and stuff. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool little house. I've, oh yeah, I've um, did the doormat glitch so I can put a door on everything now. So every ha every house has got a door in the front of it, which I, I love. It's a great feature. I actually love it. Um, and I've also boarded up every window, which you can see. And I did a glitch so I could get a roof on the buildings. So normally you can see through the roof, but look, there's actually a building up there, uh, a roof up there, so I can't see through and get you know yeah. attacked by all the radiation storms and stuff. And yeah, so that's 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 it really. That house. They've got the picket fences on the outside just to tidy up a little bit. Um, we've got that building, which is one I built from like nothing, which I think is really cool. We've got flashing lights on the top. We'll go to that in a little while. But this is the original house which we start off with in Fallout. We all know, I love it. Oh, we, some people don't love it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, really, to be honest with you. It's a building, but I've kept it really simple. Like I said, we've just got 
basically the stuff that was in here. Like all this was on the floor. I've picked it all up and just put it on the shelf. It looks kind of cool. Again, boarded up the windows. All the gaps in the walls and the things are boarded up. Except this one, I couldn't get a door on there. That's fine. Um, got the living room. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, you've got a dining room table with like this chair. I don't know how people can sit on that, but there's a chair there if they need it. Um, I left the bathroom how it is. I'll just put a nice painting in here. So when they sit on the bog, they got... Oh, there's a newspaper there. The Old Post. Um, yeah, so we've got that painting. A bed here. She is always asleep. Or oh, it. It's like some weird weird thing. Um, got, they've got a little cat picture to look at. Um, again, all Sturges is in here. Another little bedroom. Just put paintings up, board up the windows. I put this here for no reason other than it was just a perfect fit. So I thought it, like, it had to go there. Um, again, look at the windows. That looks so cool boarded up. I love it. They look really cool. I just another little bedroom though. Nothing really fancy in this house. Uh, I'm going to save the fanciness for that house over there. There's something really cool in that, which I'm really proud of. Which you would have seen in the live stream if you watched it. But you're going to see it in a minute anyway. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, I did this a little bit onto the garage, I thought to show you. Again, I added a door. Um, just a little bit of a bedroom again. Um, this door actually goes into here. Normally there's this is a motorbike going past my house, I don't know if you can hear it, sorry. But yeah, there's a little door here, <clears throat> which I added. With the, again, with the doormat glitch, so I can get this door frame in. Um, just a, a little bedroom, basically. Why can't the institute just leave us alone? Um, I had an idea for one of my people watch me on, on uh, Twitch to make a disco, a little disco room, and a bar, and I did it. So, again, we've got to listen to, listen to a time and radio station and have a little bit of a disco here. It's quite nice, I like it. You've got a little bar. I forgot to shut this. Um, yeah, I really like this little area. It's kind of nice. So I didn't know what was put out here. I was just having a little seating area. But I kind of like it. It looks nice. It's good. Um, so yeah, we've gone to this house. Uh, again, I put the roofs on all the houses. Like it's on that one as well. And this one, you can see there's no gaps in the roof. It's all covered up. Um, so it's just more. it just seems more secure. Like I like it. Like I'll put the front door on by glitching the thing through the wall. If you don't know how to do that, Check my videos out, doormat glitch, this is my Fallout playthrough uh, playlist. Again, you can see I've boarded up all the walls and the gaps. Not all of them, because there's no point in boarding this bit up. But most of them. Uh, so yeah, this is, again, very basic. Just the old little chair, TV, little dining room. I think we go on that wall, kind of annoying. What the hey? Again, the, just like the bathroom how it is. Put some beds in here, some storage. Painting of a boat. I have a cat picture because you know everyone like everyone likes animal pictures. Let's face it. I put a radio in here and just that, and that's pretty much that house done. Pretty much the same as the others, really. Pretty nice. Again, all lit up, nice and simple. And yeah, that's those houses. So now we go to this one. This one took quite a while to build. Um, as you can see, it's it obviously a blank canvas, so I've just built it up from the ground. Um, and let's have a look. So we've got this little bit here. So we've got the uh, picket fence, like always. We go around the side here and just got a little seating area. I should have put a, oh, there are lights here. This happens now and again, but look, if I just pick them up and put them down again, it'll work. Weird. Okay, we'll slip up now. <laughs> yeah, it does it. Look, that one's gone out as well. Weird. Okay, so let's go in. So we go in and we're welcomed by beds. Oh, the light's gone out. This sucks. Why are the lights out? Go back on. There we go. Okay, well, we'll just ignore that. The lights aren't working. We've got some beds here, put some little containers under them. And we've got this. It's our pet lion. He's in his little jungle. Even though the lions don't live in jungles, they are considered, are they considered king of the jungle? I think they are. They're gorillas. Gorillas are the real king of the jungles, but he's just, just like he's in a little forest or something. It's really cool, I like it. It's very dark, that light's not actually working. Why are the lights out, man? Okay, whatever. So we've got our pet wall here. We've got some cats and dogs. Again, some more beds. I think we've got about 30 beds now. How many beds have we got? No, 24 beds and there's like 6 people. That's fine. Uh, we've got our first balcony. Which is out here. We've just got our little baseball player. He's just standing here keeping a watch out. I'll make sure no one comes in and attacks. And a little bench. Goes it up. Come to the, the third floor. Is that the third floor? Yeah, third floor. And again, more beds. And we've got a little um, artistic scenario painted here. We've got a boat. It's about to crash into the lighthouse. You know, people need to use their imaginations with artwork apparently, so that's what I did there. 
and a beach. There's actually a beach with a little boat on it. There we go. I should put that in between the two paintings, but sure. And a farm. And we've got two balconies up here. It's like the, not the top floor, but nearly the top floor. Just a bench looking out to nothing. And the same this one. Just a toilet. This is the only toilet for the entire base. Well, actually, there's toilets in houses. But this, I made this one the only working one. So <laughs> people who have to go, have to come up here, and be seen by everyone. It's embarrassing. Okay, so there's actually no access to the roof inside the house, which was kind of a bit of a, a downfall, but there's nowhere to really put it. There's nowhere to put stairs in here. Um, so we go back down, and you have to actually go up onto the roof from outside. So we've got door behind me. So we've got a little gate here. Ta-da! And this staircase goes all the way to the roof. And here we go. So we've got our recruitment, um, settlement recruitment thing, antennas up here. And we've got the terminal. Now, I'd never used this before. Um, I'm getting such low FPS, man. I'm getting 40 FPS compared to 60. It's just so laggy and it's pace now. There's so much stuff. But yeah, this is the flashing lights. I love it. I think I set it so it's on for two seconds and off for one. You can time it if you're that desperate. <laughs> but yeah, that's the lights. We've got some little seating area, pool table with a radio on it. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the base. That's this house, at least. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the base. Um, actually, yeah, there's still some more stuff. There's a garden. I will show you the gardens. But yeah, we've got this house here, and then on the side here. Oh, did I show you this? I don't think I did. We've got a little garden. We've got a little gate here, which can lead you to the disco. That's fine. So we've got a garden there for food. And if you're around the back, I think there's another garden around here that I'll put down. Well, I'll say I think. I know I did. See here, we've got some water. Um, just this little seating area. It's pretty good. And the garden with all the food in, which I kind of like. And yeah, that, that is the base. So that's everything. Pretty simple. Well, I say pretty simple. It took a long damn time to make this. It took a, a good few days. So yeah, I'm going to upload this on Christmas Day. So if you're watching this on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas. Um, hopefully not coal. As a Christmas present, my Christmas present to you guys is this video, but also, I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to... Shut up! No! Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Merry Christmas, everyone! Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! What? It was a prank! Prank! Gone sexual. Prank. Gone wrong. Prank. It's a prank. <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll, uh, I hope you had a good Christmas. Have a good New Year. I'll try and uh, be sure to watch me live stream. Because like I said, I'm live streaming this video right now to eight people still. Um, so miss if you missed out, that's unfortunate. I like Red Storm. Is it Red Storm? It might be. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Good oh my god, he's got my power armor on. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>